on the evening of February 2nd, 1959. Three of America's hottest rock and roll stars arrived here in the little Iowa resort town of Clear Lake to perform two sold out shows at the Surf Ballroom. Buddy Holly had won worldwide fame for hits like Peggy Sue. Richie Valens had broken ethnic barriers with La Bamba. The Big Bopper was a DJ who had scored a hit of his own with Chantilly Lace. That night, they gave more than a thousand teenage fans at the Surf Ballroom a show they would never forget. At the time, Hawley's song, That'll Be The Day, was number one on the charts. He was just 22 years old. When their performance was over, the three stars rushed off to the nearby Mason City Municipal Airport to catch a chartered plane to their next gig. At the time, there was just a light snow falling on the runway. At 12.55 a.m., their 21-year-old pilot received clearance from the tower for takeoff, and the three musicians finally lifted off into the night. What happened next quickly made headlines around the world and left rock and roll fans across America in shock. Just a few minutes after takeoff, they flew into an approaching storm. High winds made the plane's instruments unreliable, and the young pilot's lack of experience led him to lose control. He dipped too low, a wing hit the ground, and sent the plane tumbling across this field. The next morning, a search and rescue team discovered the wreckage. There were no survivors. Today, a small marker identifies the spot where their bodies were found. Nearby, a giant pair of glasses, modeled on the ones Buddy Holly always wore, marks the trail that leads to the crash site. That tragic night was immortalized as The Day the Music Died by Don McLean in his hit song American Pie and in two separate Hollywood biopics. More than 50 years later, fans still come all the way out here to this Iowa field to pay their respects to three of rock and roll's earliest stars.